see if I can give you a synopsis of exactly what I'm doing here. This is charcoal that I made, biochar, whatever you want to call it. We crushed that into pieces small enough, three quarters of an inch in diameter. And I've got a bucket here. seals up our system. We're going to vacuum up across there through, through our cyclone filter. That's our air pump driven by a 12 volt battery around the tube here and it flares off of the end. So let's uh, open this up and we'll give you a start to finish. Turn the vacuum pump on. You can see a little bit of vacuum there pulling that flame in. Just leave it. Flame is unaffected. A bit of whispering and blowing it away, but no change in color. So we'll go ahead and light this. Right down in there. I can hear it sizzling and popping. We can down in there now. Oh yeah, she's a going. All right, I'm gonna watch her in here. Look at that. Starting to change that color. The flame, it's that burnable vapor coming off of that charcoal. And wait for this to get up the temperature here a little bit. Okay, we're what? About uh, 35 seconds in, and we got inconsistent flame. We're getting more and more consistent all the time. There we go. We got a burnable flame in about oops, a minute and a half. Not bad for lead time. Nice, good, solid flare there. See if we can give you a good reference for color here. blue flame and a little bit of air mixed in on our flare nozzle here you see the little slits that I cut in that just enough to add a little air on the end and uh, intermix and cause that to burn out so this is all just vacuum cleaner hose it's cool to the touch even on the top of the stack here We've got, you know, just barely able to tell that there's any heat inside of there. When you look down in that eyelet, oh boy, there's a whole lot of fire going on. So that's, uh, that's my gasifier in a nutshell. Next step is uh, connecting it to this 9 horsepower Honda. Okay, just an intake tube there. So. That'll be our next video.